All right, guys, Kiko here. So today uh, I'm gonna be doing an install on this uh, short throw shifter by HPA. Um, I'm gonna be doing some uh, before and after measurements on the uh, the shifter itself. I'll be taking the knob off and then uh, obviously hooking up a tape measure to it just to show the reduction in travel of the shifter. Um, so what I'll have to be doing is taking off my intake box, uh, my MAF, and then it's literally right underneath right there I'll just be changing that out um, there's some installation videos where people actually take out the battery to give more room but I think that this will be enough room so let me go ahead and uh, take this uh, intake box and the math pipe uh, the math uh, the math's housing off and then uh, I'll show you what's going on alright so I went ahead and removed the air box and the math housing uh, all I needed was a, a T25 torque bit um, to get um, screws out here and here, and then I used a eight, yeah, eight four millimeter socket to get the uh, clamp off for this side of the housing, and then just pulled it all out in one. Uh, before I go ahead and tear into that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, measure the travel um, with the stock shifter, and then. Uh, Go from there. Alright, so from the very front of the shifter knob itself, full travel back from third to fourth is roughly four and a half inches. Yeah, roughly four and a half inches. So let's go ahead and uh, install <clears throat> the short throw shifter and uh, we'll remeasure. All right, so what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna use a flathead screwdriver to pop this clip off. <clears throat> uh, another one to pop this clip off so you can remove this and get it out of the way. And then you're gonna lift this off and just move it over. And then uh, <clears throat> it's best to keep this in neutral, that way you have a little free play up and down, and it'll give you the opportunity to pop this off, sorry, after you loosen up this nut here that holds it on. So when you loosen it up, then you can get some leverage up and down and pop that off. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this off, and then I'll show you what it looks like after it's removed. Alright, so what happened here was, <clears throat> just going to lightly lay that down. So that kind of sat in here like this. Obviously this was connected here. There was another tab here. They had to pull off. See, this is what it looks like. A little different than the other one. So that hole went through. And then you see the little tangs on either side. They clipped onto something else. So you just had to pry on each side of those. Very carefully, you don't want to break this. So I just did it very carefully and then pulled the tab out. <clears throat> This other one sat, all you had to do was pry up on this center tab where the yellow was and it slid out sideways. Pretty easy to get out. Then I popped this off and moved it over. And then I had to push, push this linkage to the side out of the way to get this to clear right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. To clear that, because this goes inside here. And then once it was a neutral, I was able to pop it up and down until it came out. And then here's the side-by-side -side comparison of the two. So what's going to happen is they came with they came with two connectors, and obviously you'll just attach one where you want it, whether or not you want it less aggressive, like daily. It's still shorter, but manageable. Or you can do more aggressive, just so it's like, uh, I think it was 20 and 40% reduction in throw. So, we'll go ahead and uh, put it on, and we'll go ahead and measure it up, and see what it does. So, here goes. Alright, so I installed the, uh, the pin 
on the hole closest to the spline. I just had to run inside to um, re-verify that this is what was what. Okay, so this hole um, closest to the edge is the 20% reduction, and the hole closest to the spline is the uh, it's 40% reduction on the O2J transmission, and then it's a 35% reduction on the O2M transmission. The O2M is the one I have, so it'll be a 35% reduction. Uh, I'm just going to go for the full reduction for now, um, just to see how it feels. And obviously, if I want to change it, I can just move it to the hole next. Um, there is one thing that you need to pay attention that there is. Let's try to find. Oh, I don't know. You might be able to see it from here. There is a little guide right there that has to be placed onto the transmission in that position. If you don't pay attention, you're just jamming these splines and something, and you're just going to jack up your housing. So be careful whenever you uh, install that into or on top of the uh, transmission. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it on, and we'll go ahead and measure back up. All right, so I got the uh, HPA short throw shifter installed. Uh, like I said, I just popped this back over the pin, um, installed this little clip, it just slid back on. There's another clip here you had to pop in after you pulled this crank all the way through um, to a line inside the groove. Um, the nut, put it on. Um, do not over torque this because um, it will break and it'll cost you about $600 to change this whole fucking housing here. So just be very careful. All right, so I'm gonna hop in the car and measure the travel. Give me just a sec. All right, so I got it lined up. And here goes the travel measurement for the 35% reduction. So that's about two, maybe two and three quarter inches. So it went from four and a half to two and three quarter inches. So that's to me that that's about 50% reduction in my book. But um, there you have it. So we'll go ahead and uh, drive this around, and we'll see how it feels, and then uh, we'll go ahead and adjust accordingly. Two and three quarters. All right, let's go ahead and take a first spin, and uh, we'll see how it feels.
All right, guys, so there you have the installation on the uh, short throw shifter. I uh, got everything put back together, took a first spin, uh, and it works. It's feeling pretty good, working out pretty well. Um, a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be, so I'll have to get used to that. If I don't like it, then I can always just uh, lower that production a little bit to the 20% tab. Just remove that and move it over. Um, <clears throat> That's about it. It's, it was pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, complaints, concerns, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or shoot me a message. Um, and if you decide to change it out and you have some questions, like I said, give me give me a shout. Let me know. So I'll talk to you guys later. Take care and stay safe. Keep it up.